Welcome to another video by yours truly, Tony Solo. Before we get into what I'm gonna talk about today, I just wanna share three stories with you. This is gonna definitely relate to anybody who feel like, you know what, I've missed my time. In my life, I should have been good with women. I'm in my 20s and I can't do this. I'm in my 30s and I can't do this. I'm in my 40s and I still haven't got this together. This first story is about a guy who's, whose journey started at 23 years old. He was a virgin his whole life until he was 23. And then he decided that I can't just think about having a girlfriend. I can't just always fantasize about what is my social life, is, what is it gonna be like? I can't always have this be my track. Then as this was festering and building in itself, some miraculous came into his life. I became his roommate. He put out so many emails on, he needs a roommate, he needs a roommate. But for some reason, he got me. I was the only person that responded to him. And it was for the good reason. And the good reason was this. He was ready at this point in his life to be different. So fast tracking our time together, we first started as roommates. We didn't talk at all. He was like a really closed down, like wanting to just always go and do his work type of Asian dude. And I was somebody who was out there and venturing and this was early on in my journey. And he would see women coming in the house and he would feel like I'm a weird dude. And I felt like he was weird and we didn't talk really. But I never knew that on the inside he wanted a social life. He wanted something different than just going to, literally, going to the library every day until midnight. Every day until midnight when I stayed with him. Literally. To the point where, when I had a girl over, I knew that um, he wouldn't come home until midnight. So she could just stay there. And his life being like that over and over and over while I'm with him and me seeing that and me going, wow, this dude, he works so hard. And me kind of feeling some respect for that too. But I had no clue about what he wanted. Then one day, one of my wingmen come over and they start talking to him about what it is that he does and what we do. He had no clue that I actually did this. He thought I was just a guy who was bringing girls in and he was, didn't know why, what was happening. And he looked at me and said that he wanted to do this that he wanted to try it because he is interested in it, truly. And I was a little bit taken aback and I was like, wow, okay. So this day we're gonna go out and we're gonna try it. <clears throat> from the very first approach, from the very first approach, I knew that I was gonna help him. No charge giving him my total energy. I knew it from the first time I see him walk, seen him walk up to a woman. That first night I was just like, I would help this man in whatever way that I can because he is showing me that the story that he has inside, he's not going to give in to it. He is showing me that. And I just went, you know what, man? I'm going to help you through this. I am. So what I did is, is that I, I helped him in his track. I did. I dedicated my energy to helping him. Because I knew that he wanted something different in his life. I knew that. So I just went, you know what? I'm going to help you, bro. Free of charge. Through him having relationships and going through heartache, it brings him three years later, well now in a month and a half or less than a month really, he's going to move to Australia. He's going to start his new life and it's only started with this one choice that he made that my life is going to get better with women. And that not only just snowballed that area of his life, everything else is snowballed. 
this is someone who didn't give in to the story. Many guys who are like very young, let's say in the early 20s, they give in to the story. Or even coming out as 18, 19, they give in to the story of, I missed my time. And nobody has missed their time. They really haven't. Because anybody can start at whatever age, as you're going to hear when I talk about the, the next guy in his 30s and the next guy in his 40s. You can start at whatever time you want to. It's just one of the things when it comes to being early 20 is believing that there's this ideal man that you have to be. If there's something that society has projected onto a man early on in his life, I would say right now, particularly in his 18, 19, early 20s, is that there's a particular type of man that you need to be or you won't have successful women. There really is. And of course, it's very different than back in the day where the only type of man that was portrayed was like this badass. But now it's like, you need to be the guy who is really good looking, has his whole life together, and it's, the standard has raised so strongly for a guy now coming up that he'll start to believe that I really have missed my time. There's guys who I see who are all around on Instagram and, and Snapchat who seem that like they have these lives and they're so young. I'm not like that. I see this guy, he's 20 something and he has a business already and he's a millionaire and he seems to have beautiful women around him. I'm not like that. I'm just early 20s and I have a normal life and I'm just trying to see, you know, what else can I do? This ideal that has been pressured onto you is not just from right now. This is from early on in your life, the pressure of having to be good always with women, the pressure of always having to be good. If you screw up, that means that you're bad with women. That is the, what's pressured on to men always. And that's what I'll be talking about later. But as you can see in David's story, he wasn't willing to give in to this, I have to be like this. This is what's projected onto me. He wasn't willing to give in to that. And when he's going through his track, he had to get used to not comparing himself. He had to get used to, I'm not like this dude. I'm not like that. My track is very different. And this is something I had to let him know early on is that your track is very different than any man who has come into this. Because your life is different than anyone who's come into this. Nobody has the exact same track of things you went through in their life. You've went through it and you've accumulated things from it that's very different than any other man out there. So don't focus on the other man, focus on your journey and where it's going to take you. Let that be for any of you who are 20, 21, 22, early 20s. That you haven't missed your time. And if you feel like you've missed your time, it will impact the way that you interact with women. Because you'll try to be like, you know what? I don't want to screw up. And women will notice this. Women will notice that you're in front of them and you're, you just can't be yourself in the way that you want to be. It's because you're putting so much pressure on yourself to have to be something. The second story is of a guy named Andy. And that's not his real name, but I'm just going to give him an alias name because I don't want anybody to know who he is. So. He lives in Germany and I remember when I had the chance to coach him. He was really particular. He was, I think it's 33 if I'm correct. 30, it's 31 or 33, I can't remember. And he just didn't know what it meant to really just be open. He's, all, he's always wanted to be open in his life. He's always wanted to be open to women, but he never knew how to do that. When it was my time to help him during a workshop when we had our one-on-one -on -one time, I started to see that this man, he really wants to express himself. He really wants to get out of himself. His whole life, he was pressured into a way. He was living this particular analytical route and he wanted to just open up and be free. So I'm teaching him expression, I'm teaching him how to do the range from being really, really explosive to really, really calm. I'm teaching him the whole range and he's really, really benefiting from it. 
Then it comes to a critical moment where I'm teaching him about intent. And I put my hand onto his body so he can sink into his center. As I put my hand there, he goes, and I tell him to breathe, he goes, I feel like I'm gonna cry. And I say, cry. Then he just starts letting go. In that moment, I saw that all he wanted to do ever was to be open. All he wanted to do ever was to express himself, but he just didn't know where to do it. Like, how do I do this thing? Because his whole life was about being very particular. And after that moment, he wanted to work with me more and I taught him more about openness. And then seeing his transition from being someone who was so much angular to being someone that was open just sparked something inside of me that even somebody that's in their early 30s, somebody who feel like I should have the life skills right now. I should have what people told me that somebody in their 30s should have. A life with women or a woman to share your life with. The skills of being a man who can face life and face the trials and the tribulations that come up. He was able to finally do something that he's never done before. Never. And that's express himself. If you would have bought into the story of I miss my time, if you would have bought into that story, there would have been no way that I would have been able to help him. I could only guide him so much, but he didn't want to buy into the story. He didn't want the story. He wanted his life. He wanted to express himself. I have coached guys who have bought into the story so much that I couldn't help them. Because I can only do so much. I can only guide the guy to see. But if he doesn't want to see, then he's going to be blinded forever. If you're someone who is in your early 30s or mid 30s, it doesn't matter. Our understanding needs to be here and now. If you are still here, you didn't miss your time. This is very important because as you get into middle age, you start to think, and me not being someone who middle age, <clears throat> but me seeing people who are, if you believe it too much, when you become middle age, you will settle for the norm. You will settle for the normal life. You start to, you start to go, you know what? How can I find a girl as quick as I can so I don't have to feel like I missed out? Because this is the time where I need to be having kids or I should have been having kids early on in this. It could snowball in a really dark direction. You have the chance. You don't need to have had the skills. You can learn the skills now. And it's not the skills of, you know what? How can I be like the most super confident dude that's able to go out there and do that? No, that's not the thing that you need to be working toward. It's unrealistic. Your thing is, is really connecting to what is it that you truly want to have and what did you always want to have with women? What did you always want to have? In many ways, you are at a peak. You're at a certain level that many men are in their, in their early 20s won't be able to get to. You can hold a certain capacity in yourself that many men in their 20s can't get to. There's a maturity level that you have just through the experience that you've had in life. And if you're willing to harness that maturity level in that capacity that you have to be able to bring something into the world, to be able to impact women, you will be much more powerful than someone that's younger. Your time is here. 
you're still here. And this is the thing that I love about Andy is that Andy defied what someone else would not defy. Andy allowed things to be different in a way that another man would say, I can't do it now. I better just go out there and just find some girl who's going to be able to have a baby with me, share a family, and his existence will crample away. This third story is about a guy who is from London. He's 41 years old. He was 41 when I met him. And I remember him walking out into the street. First of all, I remember him sitting down and being in the room and us talking about what everybody has dealt with in our life. And he was just so in his head. He was really a deep thinker. And all I thought in that moment is, if he would be willing to let go and really have the life that he wants, he could do something that's very powerful. He could. He could have an experience that's really, really powerful if he was willing to let go. He's heading towards the time he was heading towards a time where it would be much more difficult for him to let go than anyone else. But at that same point, it would be very much easy for him to let go because once someone hits 40, and this is what I've seen from looking at him, once someone hit 40 and they really want to change, they change almost immediately because they don't have any more time to waste, I would say. They almost can make a change very dramatically and in a way where people go, wow, like that person is dramatically different from even this month to, to, to this month. Because they have such a sense of urgency. He had such a sense of urgency. He was just like, I want to just be open and I want to have uh, fun and I want to play. And as I'm seeing him and walking him through this on workshop and I'm, and I'm helping him understand how he can be more open and he doesn't have to be so serious, he starts to become more playful. And then I'm trying to teach him how to dance. He starts to move more energy through his body. Because when you hit the age of about 40 and you're starting to head up, a lot of times you stop moving. So you see many people who are in their 40s and moving up, they start to become um, inexpressed. It's simply because as you get older, you don't have the energy of the 21 year old who's just like, yeah, like doing like this. Your energy changes. And the person who continuously moves through their life, they feel young forever. And this is why I'm giving him the chance. I was giving him the chance to know that you can feel young in your spirit. You can feel young. You don't have to feel old. You don't have to look old. Many people in their 40s, they look old. Many dudes, they look old and they act old. So, going through that workshop, he made a dramatic change. And on the other end of that, coming out of that workshop, he continued on. He continued on and kept growing and kept evolving and changing and to the point now where you know we had a great deep conversation about love and what does love mean because that's the point that he's with with, with a woman in his life but he would have never been able to get to the point of having that conversation with me if he didn't if he did buy into the story of I miss my time when you are 40 and you say to yourself I miss my time you almost will never change. Simply because you have literally a breaking point at that age of either I'm gonna do it or I'm not gonna do it. Because you've had so many excuses up to this time and, so, and your, patterns are, your patterns are so deeply ingrained inside of you that it's going to literally be make it or not make it. And the guy who goes, I'm gonna do it, he can soar very fucking fast. The guy who goes, I'm not going to do it, he will feel a crash in his spirit like no other. And that just leads to him dying before he dies. He didn't give into the story. And that's the thing I love about having the opportunity to coach anybody that's in their 20s, anybody that's in their 30s, anybody's in their 40s, is that I can give them a chance to see that if you don't give in to what your mind is telling you, 
you can be very different. You can have the life. It is not done until you are no longer here. That's when your life is done. You may go, but Tony, 20 years ago, I should have done this. Maybe 20 years ago, you should have done this. But you didn't have the strength now to make the choice. But now that you have the strength to make the choice, make it count. The first thing is this. There's so much pressure put on you to be good. Never screw up. This is the pressure that's put on every single man for ever since he's young. It's put on him that he must be great. And if he screws up at all, he is bad with women. Nobody ever tells them that it's okay if you screw up this time. It's okay if you don't say this thing at the time you want to say it. It's okay if you fumbled over your words and the girl thought you were silly. It's a projection that he always must be the perfect man. He almost always must be great. And then he tries to live that out. He tries to live it out. And it constantly is showing him that this is not possible. But he tries to live out that this may be possible. It may be possible at some point in my life, I may get to the point where I never screw up. Because it's conditioned in him from a young age. And I tell you this, and I think you already know this. Do you think that I have ever screwed up? Quote, unquote, in the world way of, do you think I've ever screwed up with women? Do you think that I have always been honest? Do you think that I've never struggled? Because I'm no different than you. I was just willing to learn. I was willing. I was willing to let go and learn. Learn and then let go. So never feel like you have to be great at this right now. All you need to do is be willing to learn and be willing to let go. Yes, you've missed some time, you have. Let's be honest, you have missed some time. But now you can learn and you can let go. The second thing that I wanna to bring to your attention is knowing the truth of you haven't missed out, it's just the story that you're telling yourself. The story you're telling yourself is much stronger than the truth because you're giving the story more attention than the truth. That's why. You didn't miss out. I promise you didn't. But are you willing to let go of your story? Learn and let go in the same way. Are you willing to let go of the story of what you tell yourself or what you've been told so you can have something different? This is the next stage for you. Letting go of the story. Not building a new story, letting go of the story and seeing the truth. The truth is what you really want. That's the truth. The story tells you everything else and it takes you this way, it confuses you, it clouds your vision. It does all these things for you. But it doesn't aid you towards what you want. Only truth can do that. And the last thing is... Are you ready to make the choice or are you not ready to make the choice? Take what I told you about these three stories into heavy account and make the choice. Whichever one you make will be the determinant of what you experience at the end of your life. If you feel like, you know what, I want to start to take a step towards this. I want to start to get this handled in some way. What I would like for you to do is to go in the description box right below this video. Click a link that says, here's the free seduction course, I promise you. Click the link that's right below that. And it is, it's a free seduction course. Everything from meat to bedroom. What do you do to, before you go up to the girl? What do you do to, when you 
when you get there with the girl, excuse me, because I'm really cold. What do you do when you get there with the girl? And what do you do if, to bring her home? All free, totally for you. It's about a 30 minute course, very effective and it can get you going. In the meantime, I would like for you to subscribe because this is the only way you're gonna be able to know when I'm putting out these videos and share this with anybody who you feel needs this because there's definitely guys in their 20s, 30s, and 40s who need to hear this. You need to share it with them. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll see you tomorrow.